Hi, Wednesday 8 o'clock class. This is your review lesson for June 17th, Lesson 10-2. Our song this week is Dance. Here's your play-along video. The tempo is allegretto, so I'm going to set my metronome for 104, which is on the low side of allegretto. Time signature three, four times, so I'll count to three and we're in. Our left hand is playing one octave higher, 8VA, throughout the whole song. One, two, three. Alright, let's take a look at our music. First, we notice that the composer is Gurlitt, and it's been arranged by Keyboard for Young Beginners to make it playable for you. Then we notice that the tempo is Allegretto. Allegretto is faster than Andante, but slower than Allegro. It's lively, but not fast. It's from 100 to 128 beats per minute. The time signature is 3-4 time. We're going to talk a little bit more about that in a minute. Then we notice that the left hand is going to be playing 8VA throughout the whole song. Remember, 8VA means one octave higher. 8VB means one octave lower. Then we notice the dynamics. We have forte line 1 with an echo of piano line 2. Then forte line 3 and piano line 4. Then notice at the end of line four, it says DC al fine. DC stands for da capo in Italian, which means from the head or the beginning. Al fine means to the end, the fine or finish. So altogether it means go back to the beginning and play till you find the word fine. So how many lines of music does this song have? Well, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. It has six lines of music. And finally, don't forget the articulation. We have a lot of slurs in this song. And at the end of one slur, you make a graceful lift and drop into the next slur. Not a high lift, just a very tiny lift, and drop right into the next slur. Remember I said you'd be hearing more about 3-4 time. 3-4 time is a very popular time signature for dances. And there's one dance in particular that's always in 3-4 time, and that's the waltz. Did someone here say waltz? Well, hi, Simon. Yes, the waltz. Do you like the waltz? Yes, of course. Can you dance the waltz? Yes. Well, there's one very famous waltz called the Blue Danube, and it was written by Johann Strauss, and I'm going to play it for you. But you need a partner. Okay, I'll get my partner. All right. Hurry back. <laughs> He's a little camera shy, too. Oh, uh, well, who have we here? Why, is that Alvin? Yes, it's Alvin the Chipmunk. Why, Alvin, we're glad to have you today. All right, we're going to dance the Blue Danube Waltz.
Alvin and Simon. See you later. Your theory homework for the week is to name that note bass, middle, and high. But now look at the instructions. The beginning of the week, you play all the treble clef notes with the second finger of your right hand, and you play the bass clef notes with the second finger of your left hand. You do that every day, and on the last day, you write the letter name of each note in each measure. All right, here's your practice guide for today. Your new song, Dance by Gurlitt. Songs to review, Alouetta. Theory, name that note, bass, middle, and high. And here comes our recital next week. Okay, kids, that's all for today. Good job.